barbecuing a few hot dogs in your front yard with a beer in your hand and a few buddies gather around is illegal and could send me to jail for up to three months. I'm Justin Wilson with the Institute for Justice. Today, I'm in the town of Pagedale, Missouri to meet up with our team of lawyers who've been working on the ground for the last six months. We're here to get to the bottom of why this town is ticketing, fining, and even jailing its residents for ridiculous things and using that revenue to fund the city. So I'm going to meet up with Vincent and Valerie. They've lived in Pagedale for the last 18 years. They have a modest home. They raised their kids here. And in the last couple of years, they've racked up numerous fines. In order to make ends meet, Valerie works nights at a hospital, and Vincent's a veteran. Hi, how you doing? Hey, Valerie, how's it going? It's going good, it's going right. good. Thanks for having me. When I, when I got this house, I knew it was gonna be hard work. But what I saw in this house, the potential that I saw in this house was what my dream was for a starter house, because everybody have a starter house. Vincent and Valerie have received over a dozen tickets so far. The issues have ranged from not having the appropriate screen door on their back porch to not having curtains on their windows. They've even received a ticket for having too many people over when they had a small backyard barbecue for someone's birthday. They are always walking around people's property, not only mine, but friends of mine also. And I've been outside my friend's house and the guy walked through the driveway and walk all around the building and come back up. And he has his little camera and his little clipboard and taking notes. And evidently he's just trying to find some chores to chore someone with. To keep my head above water, I literally had to go out and get me some loans. These are the loans. See, these loans, I get these loans to pay pays there. These pay pays there because that way I can take my working check and pay the regular bills. This is a part of life now. This is the cycle. This is my life now. And if you thought it couldn't get any worse, Vincent and Valerie have even been handcuffed and arrested for reasons related to their tickets. This is Page Avenue. It's one of the main drags in Pagedale. And as we were just driving down it, right as someone entered town, uh, a police officer pulled this guy over. Um, the city is generating significant revenue from its traffic fines, but Unlike municipal fines, traffic t fine revenue is capped at just 12.5% of the city's total budget. Page there, people are very nervous because number one is, you know, you got a lot of people here that have been on their, their houses for years and they're on fixed income. So a lot of people don't have a lot of money to just go and get their property done. In Pagedale, you can get fined for having a basketball hoop in your front yard, a satellite dish on the front of your roof, or parking a bike in front of your house. It's illegal to not have a screen on every door and window or hedges over three feet high. You can also be fined for having a barbecue in your front yard unless it's a national holiday. And if you're manning the grill, you better not have a beer in your hand because that's illegal too. You can even get fined for walking on the left-hand side of a crosswalk. Residents have even gotten in trouble for things that aren't even illegal, such as having a crack in their front walk, chipped paint on their house, or having an unpainted fence. This summer, we hosted a community meeting here at the St. Vincent Community Center near Pagedale. We invited the residents to come discuss the situation with the fines, and two IJ attorneys, Bill Maurer and Josh House, were present. I think there was a lot of anger, especially at the beginning of the meeting. Just I think people kind of wanted to vent a lot of their outrage at the city. And then after we moved past that, there was a lot of, I think, surprise, because just as we were learning about the tickets that people had, the citizens here were learning about the tickets each other had. Um, and I think a lot of them just couldn't believe what they were hearing. So Bill, what made you turn your attention to Pagedale? The reason we were looking at the city of Pagedale was that the St. Louis Post-Dispatch did a series of articles about St. Louis County in general, and Pagedale in particular, and about the explosion of non-traffic related tickets in this area. Pagedale has actually increased the number of non-traffic related tickets since 2010 by 495 percent. When a city is deriving almost 20 percent of its revenue from fines and fees revolving around tickets, the city is creating an unconstitutional incentive for city personnel to ticket, convict, and fine defendants in violation of the Due Process Clause. Some residents have received lists that contain unclear explanations of what is wrong with their homes and the work that's needed to repair them. 
Mildred Bryant is one of those residents. I think the most ridiculous find was all curtains in my house should be matching. It was about 10 to 15 things that they wrote up. But the other thing was 30 days to repair them. That was crazy to me. I'm 84 years old. After talking with Mildred, I went to the courthouse to meet with Bill and Josh. They said that until recently, the line of residents waiting for court typically stretched down the block. Municipal court start, so starts. Hey officers, any problems? It, we're, it's okay we're here though, right? Yes. So it's already an hour before car, court starts and people are already lining up. Oh, they're letting him in. Yeah, that's right. why. <laughs> no line tonight, I guess, right? No. Is that surprising? <laughs> is that the first time it's ever happened? That is the first time that's ever happened. Really? Yeah. So what are we going to see tonight? Uh, does this look like a normal court? So this is actually going to take place, the municipal court actually takes place in the Pagedale City Hall. And what we'll see tonight is uh, a number of officials arranged on the dais in front of the audience, who are all people who have been ticketed or have to show up for some other reason to the court. You're not going to see a public defender. This needs to stop. This needs, my simple life, my simple happy life is now miserable because of Pagedale. After working on the ground for five months examining Pagedale's municipal court system, it became clear that the city was violating its residents' constitutional rights. That's why the Institute for Justice filed a federal class action lawsuit to end the city's habit of using its code enforcement powers to feed an ever-hungry city bureaucracy. This case demonstrates that property rights are civil rights. The city of Pagedale is ticketing people for harmless things and activities within their very own home. If the city can reach into a person's home and tell them what their drapes have to look like, then they're not really...